And so for uh, example number three out of our textbook, they want us to they want to say what is an isometric drawing of the cube structure at the right. So they have a cube drawing, okay? And so what they want us to do is basically we're going to draw isometric drawing of a cube. So we're going to unpack that just a little bit. Does anybody in here know what ISO means? Yep, it means same. Does anybody know what metric means? Measure. Does anybody know what a cube is? All the sides are the same. Right? And I said, when I said congruent, I meant that the angles and the side lengths of the polygon are the same. So a cube is an isometric, well, we're going to draw an isometric drawing. So we have this grid here, and we have the picture of the cube. So they asked us to draw. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. Um, One, two drawings like that. Then I'm going to come across this way, like that. Then I'm going to come down across again. And then I'm going to come down. Okay, then I'm going to extend in this direction, one, two, three, four, five, and then connect those. Where this would be the front, so the picture in the book actually has three cubes, right? And so, if you guys don't see the cubes, let me draw a little bit like how it is in the book. This is a blue cube. If you brought color pencils with you today, I would encourage you to color this in with color. If you didn't bring them, that's okay. Just bring them next time. The next one is green, but it's it's a little bit darker green, but I'm gonna do the green first. Now why would Mr. Adams make you guys color this? Well, because you need to be able to see it from a two-dimensional. By the way, the board that I'm drawing on is two-dimensional, right? But my eye sees things sees things in three dimensions, and so there's a little bit of a depth perception thing that's going on. And I can basically, the way the light hits the image, I can get different colors and different shadings. So I could take a two-dimensional object and make it look like it's three-dimensional. Okay, and then lastly we had the yellow. My shading isn't perfect, but that's okay. Okay. 
So now I have, it's actually three cubes. Do you guys see the three-dimensional drawing? Yeah. Okay. So that's example number three. You'll have to do something like that for homework.